Welcome to Artie Thursday with Darlene. I'm really excited to actually start this podcast on my YouTube channel. Episode one, I interviewed um, Chantelle van der Hagen, beautiful, amazing interview about art and everything to do with how it's supported her. Today, I actually want to talk about what is art. Now, yes, you will see that I am an artist, yet for me, art can be anything because it brings you joy. Now, when I create food, when I actually cook for myself, even for myself or for others, that feels like art for me because what I'm doing is I'm taking ingredients, I'm putting them together and I'm creating something. Art is creation and whatever creation is for you is art. It's amazing. Like, Yes, we've got traditional art, you know, painting, drawing. There's also loads of other art. Like there's, um, and that's why the diamond art painting came out because people wanted to have actual paintings, yet they felt they weren't an artist. And that's why that then actually happened. Mandalas can be art. There's many, many different forms of art and it's incredible when you want to sit down and actually do something, think about what feels right for you. Yes, you may actually want to create paintings or drawings or something like that. And if that brings you joy, then that's fantastic. And I just want to caveat that was saying, don't expect to have a masterpiece. Yes, every, for me, every painting is a masterpiece. I'm always improving. And the reason I um, use the technique I love, which is acrylic pouring, is because there is no way I can control it. And that was perfect for me because I had a career where I had to control and it was full on control, adrenaline, everything. This art allows me to let go. There is no control. And that's what I love about food as well. Yes, there's control with it, but I experiment. I experiment and do things. Like I created mini quiches the other day. First time I've done it and I actually had two people I could actually create it for as well, which was amazing. So what is art? What is it to you? What do you want it to be? And please make sure that you actually do art every day possible. Every single day you can. The reason is it keeps you present. And the more present we can be, the more amazing our life will become. My life has become amazing because of the work I've done, the spiritual work, personal development work, and because I've brought back creativity back into my world. When I was in high school, I my art teacher basically said, you know, don't continue. That was her whole, you know, body language and everything. And so I thought, okay, I'm not an artist. Now that was traditional painting and drawing where you've got to draw realistic. For me, that wasn't right. It was, it was too controlled. It was too, and I didn't want that. I wanted to let go and be free. Now, I've been creating amazing graphics in Canva for quite a few years. That's creativity. It is just beautiful. Excel spreadsheets can be art. When they are created and you look at it and you actually want to look at it, that is art. Because think about it, Excel spreadsheets can be quite boring, or I should say spreadsheets can be quite boring. Yet, it is the way you create it and the energy you put in behind it that is art. Now, see how art is many, many different things. It is not just traditional. And you don't have to turn it into a business. Like, as I said, food. I love creating food, yet I'm not going to become a chef or I'm not going to teach other people how to cook. That is not me. I love teaching and I've taught people how to create this acrylic pouring. I've taught other things as well. Yet food for me is a pleasure. And I want to keep it a pleasure. I don't want it to become a business where it, I might lose that. That's why this beautiful art creativity is so 
divine and so amazing and what we actually need in our life. And if you can, you know, create with your children, if you've got children or your partner, whoever, sometimes that can be even more amazing as well. Like I'm teaching one of my housemates some of the cooking that I'm doing and it's just, it feels so good. The reason I love teaching is because I have the patience and I learned that from my beautiful, beautiful mother who had no patience to teach someone how to cook, which is why I've had to learn myself. And because of that and then because of the art teacher in the whole body language, everything saying don't do art, I discovered that I was a natural born teacher. That is art for me, teaching somebody else and seeing their their eyes just pop open going, wow, I've got it. My last job was as a clinical nurse educator teaching doctors and nurses software. Now you can imagine how boring that might have been. It might have been boring. Yet the way I taught it, I had 99% of people, it was never going to be 100%, 99% of people absolutely love my class. And I mean love it. When the software went live and we were on the ward to support them, I had so many people come up to me and go, oh, my goodness, darling, your session was so good and I'm teaching other people. Like that is such a great compliment that I taught them and they could then teach other people. This is all art. So, again, what is art? Art is whatever you want it to be, whatever you want it to be, because it will bring you joy. That is what is art. Thank you for watching this episode of Arty Thursday. There will be one video come out every week, whether it's me or whether it's me interviewing somebody. I absolutely love this and I would love for you to subscribe, like, comment, ask any questions below as well because I will come back and answer them for you. And thank you for supporting a small business.